My name is John Keeley. I would like you to know a little bit about how I liberate latent mind force. Every molecule in nature represents, without variation, the same chord. Variations that show up in the mass chord of different visible aggregations, are accounted for by the non-uniformity of their molecular groupings. If all were molecularly homogeneous, the chord masses of all structures would be perfectly alike in their resonant impulses. A computation of the conditions, already shown up in part, proves conclusively that the power of an electric magnetic wave at an outreach of 10 inches would be, if properly developed, equal to a lifting force of 36,000 pounds on a disc but 3 inches in diameter. 10 of such on the periphery of a vibratory disc, 36 inches in diameter, would represent 360,000 pounds actual lift at 1 revolution per minute. Perfect depolarization at 100 times per minute would represent 360 million pounds, lifted 12 times per minute, or 1,000 horsepower in the same time. An excess of 100 extra revolutions, under the same conditions, would mean 2,000 horsepower per minute. By this new system, to perfect which I am now devoting all my time and my energies, dynamos will become a thing of the past, eventually, and electric lighting will be conducted by a polar negative disk, independent of extraneous power to run it, other than that of sympathetic polar attraction, as simple in its construction almost, as an ordinary typewriting machine. When the triple introductory impulse is transmitted towards the mass to be sensitized, it subserves the molecular concordant thirds and antagonizes the discordant sixths extending the range of their oscillating paths, and thus induces the highest order of repellent antagonism towards the center of neutral equilibrium. We will now follow out, in their progressive orders, the conditions necessary to give to these acoustic introductory impulses the power, as transmitted through the proper media, to induce molecular dissociation. First, if I wish to disturb and bring into action the latent force held in the embrace of any molecular mass, I first find out what the harmonic chord or note of its mass represents, and as no two masses are alike, it would seem to necessitate an infinite number of variations to operate on different masses, but such is not the case. All masses can be subserved to one general condition by the compound mechanical devices which I use for the purpose. We will suppose that the mass to be experimented upon, when chord, represents B flat. Then, first, the negative radiating focalizing bar on the disc is liberated from its dampening rod, and associated with the magnetic defocalizing one. There are seven ranges of bars in all.